Hello, beautiful souls. Today we are going to dig into a singles reading for everyone, every sign. Singles only, just for singles, okay? <laughs> and see what's going on in that energy. So um, I'm just going to jump around as always. Timestamps will be in the, dis well, in the description box. Yeah, in the description box below, okay? So we're going to start with Capricorn. Let me see. Actually, I forgot to put my keyboard up here so I could do that. Leave it to me. There won't be an extended to this one because it's self-explanatory, so I won't be doing that. But, okay. So, Capricorn, we're going to start with you first. Singles. Hmm. Uh, Capricorn, you got a single admirer, okay? It's either that you have a secret admirer or you're keeping yourself hidden or um, kind of like in the dark, like to yourself or maybe you're working too much and you can't get out to find anyone anyway, okay? So it's one of the two. Yeah, for those of you who are staying to yourself, you need to get out and do that. That's why you can't find anyone. And it's not going to do anything but make you more like sexually frustrated and angry. Uh, and it makes it harder and harder, right? Um, others of you, because I'm getting two perspectives, okay? Uh, others of you have someone that really likes you and they think about you all the time. They're trying to consider like how to approach you or what to do next. They feel a deep connection with you like you are their soulmate. And they may actually be your soulmate uh, or, you know, there to teach you a lesson or something of that nature. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> they're worried about what other people will say they're worried about because maybe you are close together like friends or work together or something like that it's like they're scared of what other people are going to say or what's going to happen you know they don't want things to start and they you know they don't want it to damage the relationship they just want a normal relationship okay for those of you who are staying to yourself you really really need to get out um because you're not going to achieve your goal by doing that. I feel like you're getting deeper and deeper into this sort of cycle of being by yourself and you're you're in your head too much. You got to get out to actually meet people, okay? Because I feel like you're doing this thing where you're like, well, I don't really like people or I don't want to be disappointed. And you, you got to get past that if you want to meet somebody, okay? Yeah. Capricorn, you have so much love to give. You have so much love to give. Um, and you got to get in touch back with your emotions, nurturing, smile more often, say hi, things like that, um, to lighten up your energy because you do have a lot of love that you want to give. And I feel like you're keeping it in, or it could just be this person. Honestly, if you're in this spectrum, this person is just like holding all of that love energy in. Okay. So you got to make the decision to get out here. And you got to wait for these this person to make a decision because it's not yours, okay? Uh, the conflict is it's hard for you to get out of yourself. It's hard for you to open up, but you got to do it, okay? For this situation, I feel like it's a struggle with this person in their head. Um, it, it's almost like you, in this situation, Capricorn, I feel like you know this person is attracted to you or they, you know that there's something there. But you're going back and forth because there's no action. There's nothing happening. There's no nurturing. There's no nothing, you know. But you know what you know now. Now you do, okay? So Capricorn, thank you so much for being here. I love you and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Well, hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your singles reading. Hello. And let's see what we have for you. I'm already pulling out cards. Yeah, it's these two. Okay. There's somebody from the past here in your reading. I feel like you're thinking about if it can grow, if it's going to go anywhere. What does it mean? Why do you feel this way? That type of thing. Okay, let's pull out these cards and then we're going to get into it. Oh, 
point. I'm going to do the other side too. Okay, Scorpio, you're about to talk to somebody from your past, okay? Um, it looks like you didn't have a really good ending or you felt left out in the cold. Um, I feel like it's the other person's doing, okay? Um, and right now you're about communicating your feelings and your issues about the situation because you want to make sure that this is real okay um i feel like you're bare bones in it it's kind of like you're at the you're at a point where you're like i i'm not trying to be something that i'm not i'm just about to just lay it out at this point okay my feelings what's going on i'm gonna ask the questions i want to ask all of that i do feel like ego plays a part because of this person and What's interesting is I feel like you don't know that this person does want to take the risk with you. They do want to try this, okay? Uh, but for some reason, they're putting on like a fake facade. I feel like they're doing a lot of inner work or trying to figure themselves out right now, okay? Um, they get nervous around you. They don't know what to do. They're very on edge because I feel like they got these deep feelings and they're confused. There's a lot of confusion here. There's a lot of you needing to talk things out and there's a lot of ego playing a part right now, which is probably, that's going to be the biggest issue with you two immediately is because both of you are going to kind of go to, going to be going back and forth um, about opening up if you should, maybe I'll close down, maybe this, you know, like between you two, but you're more on the, I just want to get everything out. Okay, but it's like this person's doing things to show you that they care, but they're not like 100% in. It's very interesting. Um, so things just don't feel fair right now. And I feel like it has to do with ego and confusion of emotions. But I do feel like both of you don't want to be away from each other. That's the thing. Okay, so keep that in mind. All right. All right, Scorpio. Thank you for being here. I love you very much. Have a good day. Bye bye. Well, hello, Libra singles. Hello. Welcome to your reading, your singles reading. So let's see what we have for you. Hmm. Wow. You literally are on, is, the pre is precipice the word to use? <laughs> You're literally on the edge of something. It's like you just need to step out and do it. You're literally on the edge of something. Um, you're doing a lot of thinking. You're doing a lot of waiting. Literally on the edge of something. Literally. Yeah, it has a lot to do with you being by yourself. You've been working on yourself, doing things for yourself. It's kind of scary to open yourself up to new things, okay? It's like you've been trying to take control of your life and do what's good for you, get yourself together, um, but you want to take an opportunity. I feel like you just don't want to be foolish. It feels like there's other things involved, like other people or other... It's a, it's a bit of a complicated situation for you in some way, okay? Uh, that is the reason why you're not... Um, it could be that you're in a relationship, to be honest, and you are not sure if you want to end it officially or not, okay? Yeah, some of you are staying in an old relationship because you're scared. You know, it's kind of like you didn't, you have to, taken control of that relationship. You've tried to work it out, you know, like, you feel like this is what you want. At one point in your life, this is what you wanted, you know? Um, so it's really hard to like let something like that go. That's what I'm seeing for some for some of you because there's two there's two stories here, okay? 
Yeah, you're scared. You're not scared of being alone, but more of what's going to happen when I do this. Is it going to be a good decision? Is it not? You don't want to make stupid decisions. That's why you're staying here. Okay. A lot of it is based on how things were in the past and not how it is now. Right. Um, it's like you're missing an opportunity. Yeah, that, that feeling that you have inside in this situation for you all is not going to go away, okay? It's like you're always going to be antsy or not happy with this person, even if you try. It's already started. It's like it's planted a seed, okay? Now, for some of you, um, some of you are trying to protect yourself and don't want to open up your heart to someone. I don't know why you're scared. I don't feel like this person is bad, Um you just don't want it to be, it, it feels different. Like this person is different um, or it goes against your sort of rules or regulations, how you used to do things. Um, and you don't want to take a foolish risk is what it feels like. Yeah, you're overthinking it. You're overthinking it. Um, and you might think that this person has someone or has other options and they may, okay? But you don't know unless you try, <laughs> okay? That's exactly what it feels like here. OK, it feels like this person is single. It doesn't feel like they're in a relationship. It feels like they're single and they can be with wh with whoever. Um, but you're a little nervous. Also, I feel energy of if this if both of these resonate with you, Libra, um, you want to get rid of this situation before you enter this one. OK, but there's definitely a hesitation of you moving into something else. So this is interesting because it's like you're single, but you, you got somebody, but you don't have somebody, but you want somebody else. It's like that. But you consider yourself single, which is why this is coming up in a singles reading. OK, so I love you. I'll talk to you later. Bye bye. Well, hello, Virgo. Welcome to your singles reading. Let's see what we have for you today. Virgo, you've decided to make some changes in your life. Actually, you are, okay? Whether you've decided to make this or not, the universe is supporting these changes in your life. So even if you said, no, I'm staying the same, everything is around you Everything around you is going to change, so you're going to have to follow suit, okay? <laughs> I mean, it's re it's really not a thing. It just feels like that's what's happening. It's just easier for you to, to go along with it, okay? Um. And because of that, you're you're healing different parts of your life and it's making your love life better. So a, a lot of you have had issues in love and you can't quite pinpoint why or what you're doing or what is going on while you're attracting these types of people. That's going to come up to you. It, it's it's going to come up. You're going to deal with it whether you pay attention to it or not. It's one of those things, right? So it's like there's a part of you that is getting healed, whether you know it or not, okay? Yeah, there's a lot coming towards you, okay? It could be a lot of offers as well. That's a little iffy on my side, but I feel like emotionally you're healing in places that you didn't know you needed to heal, okay? And because of that, um, also I feel like you may be interacting with someone from the past, okay? Um, and, and that's gonna, that's, you got to deal with some issues with them too. Okay. That's, that's one story that I'm getting, but let's see what we got. Cause I feel like you're going to get back or talk to this person and it's really going to open up some things for you. Like some things that you need to do or try or some things that they need to do or try. So it has a little bit of a growth aspect to it, which is really good. Okay. Yeah, definitely somebody from the past. And you've had problems with this person. Either they or you were not showing their true feelings or pretending like they didn't feel anything. Yeah, it, it was a very exhausting relationship. And I feel like while you were away uh, from each other, both of you have grown up in a lot of ways. Okay, so you're going to come back together and really dig into those issues. It's not saying what's going to happen next because this is just the singles portion. This is you being single and then getting with this person, okay? So on the other hand, yeah, it's like you meet somebody. Some of you have just met somebody you that you really like, okay? 
Uh, and you get a chance to like relive a relationship again. Um, it's going to bring up past things though that to deal with. Yeah. You're going to, it's bringing up past stuff. It's bringing up past stuff and a lot of you are not going to feel a real connection with this person, even though you're trying to connect with them. Um, and that's okay. It just means that a lot of you, it's because of somebody in the past um, that you're still connected to, which is probably this person. So I really see you, whether you want to or not, it's like you're going to connect with someone from your past. And you're either going to decide to stay or go. I don't see that part yet. But it's like you need to connect with them to close up some, some old wounds. Yeah, that's what's going on here. So there, there is a spiritual lesson in this for you, Virgo. But there's definitely some opening up of feelings and emotions and digging deep. Asking questions about, asking questions and talking about things that maybe you didn't want to talk about before is going on here. But it's because you're a different person. I feel like you're all about authenticity at this moment. Okay. All right, Virgo, I love you. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your singles reading. Let's see what we have for you today. Prayer Feather and Sacred Mountain. You're struggling with seeing someone's side of things. And it's really hard. <laughs> um, you can't decide if you want to agree or disagree. But I feel like it's hard because you care about this person. And you want to take their ideas into consideration. Hello, Pisces. Welcome to your singles reading. Uh, I got a little bit confused and I started Scorpio, but I already did Scorpio. I don't, who knows? But anyway, <laughs> this is your reading, Pisces. So we're going to jump right in. Mm, your card's under here. It's this one. Oh, yeah. Pisces, you're always looking for love, you know, it, it, this is what I'm going to say. It's not a bad thing. It's like you're always open to love. OK, um, your heart doesn't close off when it comes to love. It just doesn't. Um, you have a bad experience. You go through the emotions, but you still feel emotions. You know, you still feel care. And you can move on to something else because your heart doesn't really close down or shut down. Not really. Um, so what it's saying here is you always have like this opportunity to find love. You can if you want to. Um, the thing is, you don't know what you're going to get. It's a grab bag. So you just have to keep that optimism that you have normally. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. So heal from some sort of heartbreak that you may be feeling and move on. Embrace the good energy that comes with love, you know. Um, a lot of you are trying to, it's like you want to make sure, or you're focusing on your career, or you feel like you don't have enough money, or you feel down. Um, it's almost like you're dealing with other things. Let me, let me, let's pull some cards and see here. Cause I feel like you got something coming your way. Mm. 
Yeah, some of you are trying to get off, get out of a heartbreak. You feel like somebody did you really badly. Um... But you still have space in your heart for them. You just don't know where this is going to go. Because it's like you're waiting for them to break up or waiting for something to happen so you can slip in. <laughs> Sadly, I feel like it's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like you're sticking around because you know that they're going to break up and I feel like they are eventually. It's like something's going to happen and you're going to slip in there. You're just waiting for it to happen. Because you know this person isn't happy. You know this is just bound to fail. <laughs> so you're, you're talking to them or dealing with them, helping them out, or just kind of being a background character. But you have a plan. And on this side... There's somebody else too. There's another group of you that are dealing with someone else that's kind of closed off. Um, they're kind of closed off. It's really like a friendship. This may be an earth sign too, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They, they, it's like they don't give a lot of emotions, but they are a good person to have in your life. And this relationship, if you have both of these, this one is a fiery, you know, and this one is like stable. Okay. Um, but it still makes you feel good. It helps you grow as a person. This is a better person. If I had to choose, to be honest, Pisces, it would be this one. This one is like a stable, grounding, good person, but they don't have that fire and that love energy that you like so much. Yeah, they don't. So you tend to lean towards the part with more fire or more complication or more energy in it. Um, if you can fight this, if you can fight this energy, you and this person will have a really good relationship. If you can deal with each issue as it comes and work through it, this will be perfect for you. Okay. This one, um, so I feel like you're waiting for this dream to come true, but I, to be honest, I don't know if it is. Okay. This one is the better one. <laughs> I mean, that's all I can say. I will talk more about it, but this one's more stable, logical. Um, you can work things out. This person is um, dedicated, all of those things, you know, but you do have to break through their, their hard exterior, you know, but what you don't see now is that you're building one of those strong relationships where you start off as friends. Okay. This one it feels like this person didn't do you good in the first place, right? Like they did something dirty or you felt like they cheated or anything like that, right? So it's almost like you have to compete for this person, but they're not choosing you, right? So um, be careful of this person. That's what I'm going to say, because I feel like they know how you feel. I don't feel like you haven't expressed yourself, but something's weird with it, okay? I, I can say that something's weird in that energy. So it's almost like you need to move on from that, okay? And go towards something that's more stable for you. Yeah, see? Two of swords, you're like stuck in between what to do. You're in your head. You haven't quite made a decision, but you will. You will. Um, you will eventually, okay? I love you, Pisces. <laughs> Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Well, hello, Aries. Welcome to your singles reading. And let's see what we have for you. This one. This one. Okay, two things. You're either closing out an old relationship, like fully. Okay, or a crush that you had that didn't go anywhere. Okay, 
um, and looking elsewhere. It's time for you to look elsewhere. Okay, so let's get in here and see what we got. Yeah, you've been putting hard work into some relationship and it's time for you to look elsewhere. Yeah, um, there's either a third party, this person likes someone else and not you, or um, it's just not a good situation for you to be in. You know, um, it doesn't look like it's going to get better either. Okay. You're going to see that you're putting too much time and effort into it and it's not giving you what you need. So it's time for you to walk away and find love somewhere else. Okay. Yeah. Uh, some of you are dealing with someone that has someone else. Okay. And you don't know. But I feel like you're trying to flirt with them or you're trying to open them up because you're like, maybe I need to try something else. I feel like you're putting really hard work into this one. Yeah. Yeah, you're overthinking it. You're kind of thinking like, maybe I need to make this person trust me more. Maybe I need to do this, but it's not you. It's them. Okay. It's like they're not really interested as much as you think they are um, down, down to the point that it needs to be. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you because I can't do anything else. So... On this situation, um, yeah, you need to take control of your life for sure before you miss an opportunity with someone else, okay? Because you're feeling like you're going to miss one with this one, but nothing's happening in it, yeah? You're going to end up getting hurt, and you're going to end up having your heart closed off if you continue on this one. So it's time for you to walk away because you're, you're really giving way too much to this, okay? And look for somebody else. Simple, easy. You need to move on, okay? All right, Aries. <laughs> I love you. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hello, Taurus. Welcome to your singles reading. Let's see what we have for you. You are in the midst of a new relationship, it looks like. Whether you know it or not, it could be a friendship that turns into a relationship, okay? Um, but it's up to you if you have the energy and the do-right, I guess, <laughs> the motivation to to make it something or not. It really is up to you, Taurus. Yeah, you, you do. Something is turning into emotions, okay? Um, you got to open yourself up. Stop working so hard. Focus on your emotions. It looks like you think that emotions are not solid, you know, like you can't trust them. You're a little iffy about your emotions, but you're going to miss out on an opportunity, okay? Yeah, I feel like your focus is not on this person, um, but there is emotional connection here. You just have to see it. It's just up to you to see it. You know, it's it's really about you having the motivation. I'm going to be honest with you, Taurus. Um, someone, this person is too shy to say anything to you. Uh, but they want to do it right, you know. Uh, that You may notice also that this person is getting closer to you as well. Um, they see that you're a hard cookie to crack, okay. So they're taking their time. They're taking their time and they're hoping that this ends pretty soon. Yeah, you just don't want, yeah, you don't want it to complicate your life, okay. I feel like you just need to start communicating with this person and opening up about your feelings. Because I see like you're a little bit confused or you have this idea of what love could be or you don't know, you know. Um, but you're going to miss an opportunity because I feel like there's an opportunity for something to really open up here. So just be aware of that, okay? That was a quick one, Taurus. Well, I love you and I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye-bye. Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your singles reading. We're going to go ahead and get started. So, hmm... Cancer, you need to be more communicative about your feelings, okay? Because I feel like this is going to get you the love that you want. Um, it'll at least open the door to something, okay? 
So it's not a, it's like, listen, also I'm getting, you need to listen to people when they talk. Not that you don't, but when they say something, they mean it. Okay. Um, so listen, pay attention. Um, and I feel like this opens up the door to at least a friendship that can turn into love. Okay. Yeah. I don't see anything like right now. Okay. Right now there's nothing. Um, but it's best for you to build something with a solid friendship or a solid relation, like a, a solid connection first. Okay. So it's not about being dreamy and all of that stuff because being dreamy hasn't gotten you anywhere. We're, we're going to say that. Okay. So, um, you have to kind of put that down right now and try things in a different way is what, what I'm getting. Okay. So some of you are going to contact someone or someone will contact you that you really liked, okay? Um, and they still care about you. And this is about trying to see if you can get over the obstacles. You're going to have to really listen to them and collaborate together and let go of what happened in the past, if that's you. Yeah. For those of you who are really single and looking for someone, like, no prospects at all, um... You got to you got to stop having all of these expectations of what's going to happen, okay? So it's like get to know someone, open up, talk, have real deep good conversations with someone, okay? Yeah. You got if this is you on this side, you got to let go of the past, okay? You got to really open up to this person. I feel like there's a there's history behind you too. Like there is something to be shameful of or guilty for. Um, but you got to let that go if you're going to try to make it work. Okay. Um, I feel like you got to talk things out that you don't want to talk out. You got to deal with things you don't want to deal with. But it'll make the relationship better this time around. On this side for you single, single people. Um, yeah, you really do want someone but you got to let go of expectations. I feel like you're scared that someone's going to hurt your feelings or do something that someone did to you in the past and you have to let that go, okay? Because your idea of trying to be on top, trying to win or trying to head off issues before it happens really is putting you in a circumstance where you can't connect with someone. So it's really good in both of these situations to be friends first and connect more through communication, getting to know each other better and stuff like that. Okay. So cancer, I love you and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hello, Sagittarius. Welcome to your singles reading. And let's see what we have for you. Your best course of action right now is to be by yourself. Um, let's see why. Very interesting. Mm. Uh, you got some things to deal with. Uh, I feel like there are areas in your life, Sagittarius, that you need to get fairness in. Just in general, okay? So it almost brings about a restructure because it feels like you're kind of out of control. Uh, for some of you, it has to do with a family member or a friend that is overstepping their boundaries and you got to deal with that, okay? For some of you, it feels like there was a relationship that is kind of hard for you to get rid of or a person that's hard for you to get rid of and you need to gain control of that. So I feel like you're learning about your new boundaries and things like that. Um, so that's your focus right now. But let's get into some more cards here. Yeah, there's somebody in your life that you got to deal with. Um... It feels to me like they're kind of blaming you for something they've done, but you still feel like you owe them in some sort of way. 
So I feel like you have to deal with that. Um, it's really about you setting boundaries, Sagittarius. Setting boundaries and standing up for yourself. I feel like you don't have time to be looking for love in that type of situation. Yeah, be careful somebody's using you for money as well. And be careful that you're not just going out and meeting new people just to find pleasure at the moment. Um, if you want to do that, it'll be easy for you to do that, okay? Yeah, it's almost like you're trying to find a way to get away from this heaviness by looking for someone. But honestly, I feel like you're going to pull somebody into a more complicated situation than you need at this moment. So it's like you need to do what's right for you. And right now you need to deal with this issue that's going on in your life. Whether this is a lover, a family member, a friend, whatever. But you need to set good boundaries with this person first. Um, and then you'll be in like a better position to find love. And have an actual healthy relationship. Okay? I love you. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your singles reading. And let's see what we have for you. Wow. Ooh, you on fire, huh? Yeah. Um, you've learned a lot. You've been through a lot. And you're taking that knowledge and moving forward on it. Okay. You're looking for a more stable relationship, something that's going to last. And... This is a, it's like a new journey for you because you're on a new journey. That's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like your life is just changing. You're changing. You want things to be better for you. Um, so what's going to happen is it's going to take you in that route anyway when it comes to your love life, okay? You're going to start questioning things because the rest of your life is going pretty smoothly. So you want everything to go that way, okay? Yep, that's your idea. You want things that are going to fit your environment and your life the way that it is and this does involve your love life as well right because it feels like there's somebody that maybe has been holding on to you or you've been holding on to them really tightly and you're not confused anymore it, it, I just feel like you're just more clear about what you want in your life I do feel like it's going to be hard for you to communicate what it is that sorry <laughs> it's going to be hard for you to communicate what it is that you want to communicate um, yeah, I feel like you're taking your time to make a decision. Mm hmm. Yeah. But because you're healing yourself and you're getting better, like as a person and growing as an individual, things are going to start to change. So even if you want to stay with them, I'm going to be honest with you, Gemini, you're just changing as a person. It's not going to fit you anymore. Um, yeah, you're just trying to, to do the best. This person is doing the bare minimum. That's what it feels like. Okay. Um, and they're trying to like pretend like it's not them or trying to say like, why are you looking into things? Or, you know, they're trying to make it make you feel like you're crazy, but the feelings that you have are not crazy. OK, yeah, you definitely want to know what's going on. But what's happening is you're going to use your head over your heart because because you're getting wiser, smarter. You know, you're you're growing up, you know, your boundaries and all that kind of thing. OK, yeah. They're waiting for the right time to open up to you, which is so ridiculous because it's not that they don't trust you. It's almost like they don't trust that this is the end game. They don't trust that this is what they want for the future. It's like they're confused and they don't know. But honestly, you don't have time to wait on them. You know, I feel like you're reestablishing your boundaries and knowing who you are more as a person now that that kind of stuff just doesn't appeal to you anymore. Waiting does not appeal to you right now. Okay. <laughs> so Gemini, that's it. I love you. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hello, Aquarius. Welcome to your singles reading. Let's see what we have for you today. So we have Ancestors and Radiance. The answers you seek are looking in past relationships. This doesn't mean necessarily getting back with someone. I feel like there were issues in the past or in past relationships that can help you 
form a better relationship in the future. So this is a time of reflection. Yeah. I don't think that anyone in the past was the person for you or even the person you're with. Um, I feel like you're having like too many questions about what's going on there. Uh, you do need to look back at old relationships and figure out why they didn't work or why they didn't last, okay? I feel like this is going to help you move forward into better relationships, better choices with people. Um, I also see you trying to, some of you, at least one person is trying to deal with a person from their past, but you're just not meant to be together. Okay, I feel like it's the same old, same old stuff. You can try to work things out, but yeah, yeah. So learn from past relationships and start a new one so you can go into the new one with better, a better mindset. Um, I, you know what's interesting? I feel like some of you are dealing with someone that wants to get married, that person who's dealing with someone, and they are committed and you like that idea of commitment, but there's too many negative bad habits within that relationship that just aren't going to work. So I feel like you can try to work it out. I'm going to be honest with you, uh, Aquarius, but I just don't feel like it's going to go anywhere because of bad habits. Yeah, look at why your old relationships didn't work, okay? I feel like there are habits that you did or uh, that you accepted that were not good in past relationships you really need to dig deep about that one okay yeah you if you're in this emotionally you're just not connected to this person let's be real uh, I feel like it's not there but you don't you feel bad about leaving them because maybe you were going to get married or maybe they want commitment and you feel bad because they're not necessarily a bad person you just don't click you just don't have that bond that you need to have in a relationship and that is important um it's really about you finding something that's going to last for you. I feel like you need to understand Aquarius that you're different and you like different things, you know, like, I don't know. It's like, um, you put in a lot of work to stuff and trying to figure out why it didn't work. And there is a lesson in there for you. Okay. So that's it. I love you. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hello, Leo. Welcome to your singles reading. And let's see what we have for you. I feel like you're going to have three cards for some reason. Yep. Okay. Ooh, this is a good time for you to date. <laughs> Uh, this is a good time for you to date. Um, it helps you leave old energy behind. And I feel like you're just in a good mindset to meet people that are good for you. Yeah. So you've dealt with uh, a relationship that was unfair or went through a divorce or something like that. Okay. Um, you definitely want something new in your life. But you it's like you don't have anybody specific that you're thinking about. But I feel like there's a lot of like opportunities for love and meeting someone in your environment okay um and if you jump on it it's there for you i got nothing else to say yeah you definitely have opened up you know it's almost like you're ready to get out there you're ready to make things happen um you're ready to make this work Okay, I feel like you could have tried to make it work with the last person that you were with, but I don't know. It's like it just hit you like an epiphany that you want more or that you don't want to you don't want to go through the ins and outs of trying to work this out with someone. You know, it's like I'd rather date around and see what's out there before I settle for this specifically. Um, but Yeah, I feel like your game plan is just to get out in the world and try to date around and see what's out there first um, before you settle down. And if that doesn't work, then maybe you'll contact this person in the future, you know. But that's how I feel right now. Yeah, you're still connected to this person. You do care about them, but I feel like you just need to step away for a moment. 
Yeah, you're you're questioning it, so you want to see what else is out there. You do. Um, I don't feel like you're fully disconnecting from this person. I'm be honest, Leo. Uh, I don't feel like you feel good about it either. What you're doing, but you have you're just doing what's best for you, because you don't know what this where this relationship is going with this person, and you don't know like, yeah, you're do you're trying to do what's better for yourself. That's exactly what's going on. You know, it's like you don't have a real plan. You don't have a real urge with this person anymore. And you want to find that. So, I mean, that's your decision. It's not a bad one. Okay. <laughs> I love you. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.